Hey friends, it's Jamie Grace and I have not been here in a long time and I really missed you all so I wanted to come back and say hey. In this video I wanted to tell you all about some behind the scenes stuff at Revolve, answer some of your questions and tell you all a really exciting announcement. Okay, so a lot of you all ask me what's it like being on the Revolve tour and I want to just give you guys some behind the scenes answers on what it's like being at Revolve. So whether five minutes or two hours, you know that drive to the arena for Revolve? Yeah. It feels like a long ride, even if it's a 10 second drive from your house. But it takes like forever to get there because you're just so anxious. Then you finally get there and you open the door and you're walking in the concourse and you see all of the awesome stuff for sale and all the cool stuff that you just gotta have. And then they say 10 minutes till the show starts and you're walking in there, you find your seat, you sit down and before you know it, you're off your feet dancing in a group one crew and Britt Nicole and Hawk Nelson and you're just having the best time of your life and you can't even believe that you're there. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like for me every weekend. Because of all of our schedules with school and work and because we all live in completely different parts of the world, we all get in at different times. But when we finally get to that arena, it's so much fun to see everybody, to hang out, have a good time, eat dinner together and rehearse together, work on what we're gonna say for the weekend. Yes, we've done this before, but we do have rehearsal, we do have sound check, and we do wanna make sure that we're bringing our best every single weekend. There's times when I'll be like, hey, Jenna, does this make sense the way that I'm trying to say this? Or, hey, Sophie, I need you to hang out with me and do homework with me because I need to stay focused. We love being crazy and hanging out and having fun, but we definitely have the serious side of things like rehearsing and sound checking and preparing and homework. But when all of the rehearsing is done and all of the homework has been completed, we have the wonderful opportunity to step out on a stage and do what we know our God has called us to do. A question that I get a lot from people that I meet or people that I talk to on Facebook or Twitter is how do you keep your spiritual life on point when you're on the road all the time? Because Revolve is on the weekends, sometimes our flights do get a little crazy and we are flying on the weekends, but we do have someone that travels with us as an intercessor and every Friday and Saturday she shares devotions with us, she prays with us, and we worship together and she's around all weekend for us to pray with and talk about the Bible with. She's definitely a blessing to all of us and we also have each other around all the time to talk about the Bible with and to pray with each other and worship with each other. It's really great. Just the other day a group of us went out to eat at Cheesecake Factory in Denver and we were sitting there and Marcos from the drama team just brought up something that he'd been looking at in the Bible lately and we just, I pulled up the Bible on my iPhone and we just started talking about the Bible and God and just saying what it all meant to us and it's those kind of moments that are just really good that really encourage us to stay in the word. I also go to a weekly Bible study when I'm back here at home where we dig into the word together, a big group of college students and I get the CD of the sermon from my home church and listen to it. And even if I'm in town, I like to visit different churches wherever I am for Evolve that weekend. Having a relationship with God is so, so important to me. It's the most important thing in my life. So being able to be a part of a team of people that are really uh, passionate about Jesus and about God is such a blessing because we can all talk about God together and open up the Bible and discover what this verse means and that kind of thing, so it's really great. All right, well, I wanna answer your questions. I wanna answer more questions about the Revolve Tour and what it's like being on the road. You can leave them as a comment below or send them to me as a Facebook comment or a Twitter status thing. And now for the big announcement. If you've been to Revolve this year, you've heard me sing a little song called Revolvin' on Friday night. I wrote it when I was 16 about some of the things that we think about as girls, that we talk about as girls, that are going on in our lives, and what it's like to finally have those two days out of the year when we can say, ah, I'm finally revolving. Really fun song to write, and it's been really fun to sing, but you guys shocked me because you really liked it, and thank you so much. So I decided that maybe I should offer the song for you guys to be able to download. There's more details on that coming out very soon. You can find out the details on my Twitter and my Facebook as I get the details. I'll be sharing them with you. I hope that you continue to enjoy the song. And if you haven't been to Revolve yet, hopefully this song will encourage you to check out the Revolve Tour site and see when it's coming to a city near you. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you send me your questions about the Revolve Tour and make sure you keep checking Twitter because very soon I'm going to tell you how you can download Revolve. In. Peace out.